to go back inside, but Drip will pop out. Carter will try it. And she's got a three ball. Grace Carter just coming off a great game when she's had a three in the in the Reuter is covering her now. So they're going to try to wear her down with players that aren't offensive minded. Kelly Martin feeling it. Knocks down a three ball. She's got seven points. A little 12 footer won't fall for Reuter. The offensive rebound though for High Slip. Falling back. Three ball thrown in by Courtney Walsh. Kelly Martin. Loops it down inside, left-handed score, the basket for Samantha Highslip and the foul. Right inside to Lux, inside out for Cassie Smith. Now Lauren Green, and threw it away. Courtney Waltz the other way, one-on-one, -on -one and scores. Oh, nice job by Courtney Waltz, shielding the defender with her body. Bentley, here's Lux, lost the handle, stolen away by Carter. Oh, and a pass up the floor, scores the basket for Courtney Walsh and the foul. Cleared by Heisler. Kelly Martin up the floor, Grace Carter loves that spot, and got a three ball. Shoot, Warden puts it on the deck, driving through, had her shot block, got it back. Kelly Martin will try it and make a three ball. Wow. Heisler, straight away. Carter, now Martin. It backed up Taylor Warnham. Back down inside. How did that pass get through? Taylor Warnham's first points of the night. Warden got it down inside. High slip double teamed. Oh, what a beautiful look. And there's two for Gabrielle Reuter. Reuter back door for Carter. Nice play. I thought when she threw a chest. Stonehill by nine. Inside. There's two more. Beautiful pass. Samantha Highslip now with 15 points. Kelly Martin had 13 in the first half. And she's got a three ball. Great screen at the high post. Highslip. Carter thought about it. Driving through and scores. Big basket for Grace Carter. Got it to Martin. Carter, five to shoot. Inside, oh, what a pass, and there's two for Gabrielle Reuter. Baseline jumper won't fall, and that'll do it. What a win for the Stonehill Skyhawks as they knock off the third best team in Division II in the country. Final score, Stonehill 77 and Bentley 66. I'll tell you what, that was a great effort by all concerned. I was talking to some people before the game and I said, I'm going to predict that Kelly Martin will get somewhere in the neighborhood of a triple-double. 19.7 <laughs> rebounds, 7 assists, and I also said, for Stonehill to win this game, you have to do something like that. What was your mindset going in? What did you have in your head that you needed to do tonight? I mean, I just didn't want to overthink it. Lately, I've been in my own head, and I haven't been able to produce. But tonight, I was just having fun. And it makes it easy when I have a team um, who's just as into it as I am, working just as hard. Um, but they they make things happen as well. I no, by no means is it by myself at all. Um, but I knew I had to kind of explode for us to for us to come up on top. Falcons threw a 14-0 run at you in that first quarter. What was the conversation in the timeouts? You had a couple of timeouts in that first quarter. What was Trish Brown telling you guys? We just had to take it one possession at a time. I mean, basketball is a game of runs, and we knew that it was going to happen. That's obviously an unreal team. So um, it was just our ability to get stops, and that kind of sparked us on offense. So I think um, taking it by possession, possession possession by possession um, allowed us to, to get the win. Five players in double figures. I don't know if you guys ever moved the ball as well as you did tonight. Yeah, I mean, again, it's just we have so many kids that want that are scorers that want the ball. The, the confidence is unbelievable across the board. Um, and I think that's how why we're such a good team is because we have we're so deep. We hear a lot of players and a lot of coaches say it's just another game. Was this just another game? No. I mean, <laughs> you're being honest. Good for you. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there's a lot of hype, but we did talk about. Um, sometimes that kind of gets to us. I know, especially at the beginning of the year when they we played them first, and we kind of um, psyched ourselves out a little bit. But tonight, we knew it was just a game. But it's Bentley. It's a rivalry. It, it was bigger than a just a game. It was awesome. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Good for you. Congratulations, Thanks. Kelly. It uh, it feels like it's been a while, <laughs> uh, but.
it, like you said, you can't say enough about the atmosphere. You know, you got to thank all our our parents, families, fans, but the student body really came out. Um, shout out to Lena Macedo for getting those kids organized and getting them in the stands. And that really, it just created such a great atmosphere to a game that we knew was going to be like this. Uh, just a battle and two really good teams. And, you know, I, I don't think we disappointed. The senior class was ready to go and, you know, really hungry. And it, it uh, the, the one thing I was afraid of, you know, I felt very confident about um, the kids' confidence going in. The one thing I was afraid of was being too tight. You know, like, okay, we, we know we can compete and, and win this game if we do what we need to do. But I, I thought we started really strong and very poised. We went down in the first half, in the first quarter, and our kids stayed very poised, which was was really nice to see. We we kind of lost that composure a little bit toward, toward the end of the game, but um, you know, fortunately, people came up and made some big plays um, down the stretch to to kind of settle us down. But um, it, you really, I, I can't. I'm so happy for that senior class because you know they deserve this win at home. Um, in front of a great crowd. They've worked so hard this year, so so that was really nice to see. You know, I have to credit um, Jonna and Catherine, my assistant coaches. They worked so hard on the scout, just defensively understanding what we needed to change from the first game. And, you know, I, I think our posts were so prepared to, to defend Lux a different way than we had in the first half and uh, the first game. Um, and, and I thought our post did a great job. Izzy Grip to start. Taylor came off the bench, did a really nice job on her. Um, and then, you know, knowing their personnel and their shooters, and, you know, they, they have a lot of weapons. So I, th I think our, our team defensively did a very nice job making them score different ways. You know, they, we, we took them out of their rhythm, rhythm. This is a team that, you know, you score, they're coming right at you. And I think, you know, transition, we, we did a good job in transition, not letting them get those emotional buckets. So really happy with that. This is a team that, you know, they're, they're not looking at the scoreboard. They're just playing hard and they're going to, and they can score points in a hurry. You know, they have great shooters. They've got a, a, a really great post presence, but they also have big kids that can come out and shoot the three. So they're hard to guard. So you, we needed that cushion going in. And, and obviously down the stretch, you know, they put that full court pressure on us and, and we didn't respond. Um, and honestly, I think it was just our kids were we were right there, and they were they got too tight. So uh, Gabby and Grace have done a, <coughs> such a great job. And honestly, <laughs> the, Grace Carter was one of the most boys kids on the floor at the end of the game. You know, she was she was doing a great job in terms of understanding how to you know move the ball under the pressure. And then her pass to Gabby, you know, that, that's poise under uh, an intense pressure situation. She took her time saw the opening and gave Gab like a wide open layup which was phenomenal. I think that you know this league you you can't rest with this win you know our kids in, in this group be, because of our senior leadership I really feel very confident that um, you know they they know to, to you know celebrate this win and, and they should be excited about it tonight but you know, tomorrow's a new day and we got to prepare for Southern New Hampshire and that's the way it needs to be. And, and this team is has had that focus and they have a different goal this year. So, you know, they, they know we've got to be ready on Saturday.